but this is the road. And this is where I have to go home. So guys, as you can see, the time frame you can go out and uh, explore. It's always very short, like the rain is uh, going crazy again. I'm hiding under a little shop here. This was probably the most dangerous car ride I've ever had in my life. Like you can see nothing. Like just nothing, just look there. There's absolutely nothing. Also here, 10,000 kilometers from home, we have a tiny, tiny bit of Germany. Kinder Joy. Wow. Windy, but awesome. Also now you can see all those clouds and all this rain. So uh, guys, I arrived in the rainy city on the planet, Cherapunji. But uh, my hotel booking didn't really work. Like uh, the hotel I booked is just a uh, ruins. So uh, yeah, I only have this one day here, and I hope I can show you some stuff. But uh, first, now I have somehow to find a place to sleep, like uh, it's super empty here and super rainy and uh, yeah so uh, didn't expect this to start like this I just tried to uh, find some kind of uh, main road and from there I can probably find a hotel or something so, see you guys then. Just walking and walking through the clouds. I can even see, I can just see a few meters. But I can't find any hotel or anything. I have no idea where I am. And yeah, so far, not so nice adventure. we made it we found a nice hotel actually uh, the most fancy hotel I've been to in a long time like uh, just take a look at my bathroom it uh, looks like it's made from wood so uh, yeah next I'm gonna get some uh, money from an ATM get some food then I'm trying to find the viewpoint of uh, Cherapunji and then I'm going to try to visit some waterfalls, so uh, today we're going to see some nature and also, uh, I mean you've seen outside before, but uh, it's just crazy wet and crazy cloudy, so uh, it makes sense that this is the most rainy place on the planet, so not going to talk too much, going to have my breakfast finally, I have a lot to do, and uh, yeah, let's go. So, uh, I'm outside my hotel now, and uh, as expected, it's raining. We have a beautiful little river here, and uh, either I'm gonna get a taxi now, or I'm just gonna walk. But, uh, oh man, it's refreshing here. But, uh, I'm filming, yes. Before I start the video, let me tell you the story about why I am here. Um, if you're a long time viewer, since like two years, you may remember I have a video. And it's called Trying Pani Puri for the first time. And in my video, Trying Pani Puri. I'm with a friend, his name is Aiba. Shout out to Aiba. And uh, he lives in this small city here. So that's the reason I'm just uh, randomly in this small city here, in the middle of nowhere, with a lot of rain. 
I actually wanted to meet Iban, but because of COVID, his uh, exams they got like postponed. So he's not in this state right now. He's doing his exams. Good luck. So uh, anyway, I decided I'm not far from it, so I came here. It was like a maybe two hour ride from Shillong. And uh, so far it's like a crazy place. There's so much... Uh, how do I describe it? You're, we're in the clouds. Like you see the clouds crossing. And you can even touch the clouds. Because we're on some uh, mountains. And as I said, if you look on the internet, this is the most rainy place on the planet we call our home. Anyways, I'm gonna put away my camera now. I'm gonna search your way to the viewpoint and to the waterfalls and some breakfast, so. What a journey. And again guys, same as in Shillong, Meghalaya is known for uh, a lot of Christianity. Like, uh, as I said before, it's weird seeing people uh, like, uh, having like a mountainous culture. It feels like a mixture between uh, Nepali and Indian culture. But then instead of Buddhism or Hinduism, you just have all those churches everywhere. All the schools here are like uh, Christian colleges and stuff, so... Uh, here again more uh, a church chapel. So... Uh, it's fascinating how far religions can uh, spread, because trust me, we are far away from uh, any big city right now. And I think I have to walk this street for like 20 minutes, I guess. Until I can find uh, some food. Here we have a uh, government school. And yeah, just exploring here, but uh, yeah, this is like the main road, it's the most busy road here. And people living here, they have like such beautiful gardens and stuff. But I think I have to pack my camera away for a second, because uh, it's raining again, like uh, it's starting to rain a lot. So guys, I uh, have to make this part quick because uh, it's raining a lot. And uh, let me show it to you. This in the background here. It looks like there's a huge, huge football or soccer ball. But uh, I've been in the mountains a few times. And for, from what I found out, this is actually a weather station. Okay, I thought the taxi driver was honking to me. This is like a weather station. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. So, uh, we will find out in a minute once we arrive there. And, uh, yeah, just look at the nature here. Oh, we, we got some uh, some fans here. Hey guys, everything good? Okay, nice.
just uh, fields everywhere, rain everywhere, clouds everywhere, and I'm pretty sure this is a weather station. But yeah, anyways, I'm scared for my camera, so uh, I think we have like a 15 minutes more walk ahead of us until we find food. Then I'm gonna ask for the viewpoint, and then I'm gonna ask for a for a ride to the Seven Sister Waterfalls, and. Uh, yeah, once that's done, I just have to edit so many videos in my hotel now. I think I have like six, six videos that are ready that have to be edited from Shillong and stuff. And uh, I don't have much time. Tomorrow morning, I have to get a ride to Shillong. Then from Shillong I have to go back to Guwahati and uh, then I'm gonna meet friends and after Guwahati we're going to uh, Arunachal Pradesh Here you see again the big weather station And yeah Gotta turn off the camera for a while Told you guys, it's about weather. Okay, so the, the rain just turned crazy. And uh, I, I just stopped here and I asked for a tea, but they don't have tea. So I, I somehow have to continue. But uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, the rain is quite wide. It's quite wide. So uh, I'm not sure about the vlog today. The only thing I'm sure about is that I'm gonna be wet. So let's just do what we do in Germany and we just wait five minutes. I hope it gets better and then we go. So I survived most of the rain. And uh, people here and even the cows are prepared. And I'm reaching the, you could call it city center now. Also my uh, shoes. Finally getting rid of the dust from the Himalaya. And uh, my plan is just to stop at the first place I can get a breakfast because it's I think it's 2 p.m. and I didn't have food yet. And uh, after that, I'm trying to get to the viewpoint. It's probably this. And uh, some waterfalls. But uh, there's also a big chance that it's just gonna rain like crazy and uh, I will have to end the vlog somehow. But uh, I think it will work out. It's just water. The only thing I'm scared of is my camera breaking. Is hair salon. I'm just looking for some tea and some uh, heavy chow mein. Hey, brother. Hey. Just for mosquitoes. Where are I actually don't know. You don't know. I just arrived here. Okay. 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 So also uh, domestic tourists here. Here we can find some tea. Hey guys. It's uh, quite dark here. Hello. So uh, I just landed in the darkest tea place there is in the country. And I have my tea. And uh, yeah, afterwards we're gonna continue outside and uh, explore some more.
Hello. Okay. See you guys. Okay, so uh, just had my tea. Just had my uh, toilet. It was a bit dark in there, but uh, it's fine. Also, the rain stopped a bit. So uh, now we're going to look for an ATM because uh, I have to pay the hotel I found and it's quite fancy and expensive and uh, I gotta get some food and I gotta get to the viewpoint and the waterfalls. Also just, uh, just look at this village. I don't know if you can see it on the camera but uh, we're in the clouds like uh, you can't see far, uh, but yeah, let me put away the camera, I'm gonna search for an ATM now. Okay guys, we're finally at the ATM, and there was a big sign saying only 10,000 rupees, otherwise your cash gets stuck. And the person before me was spending 15 minutes here, so I hope the ATM will work. Give me a second. Indian Indian ATMs are always like a bit of a lottery. Please collect your cash and take your card. Yes, sure. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, we ordered some food, and I actually don't know what I even ordered. Like uh, this is some. Uh, it's supposed to be potato curry. This is some uh, roti and some papat and uh, some pickled stuff. And uh, I'm still waiting for my tea I ordered like an hour ago, but uh, it's fine. So, gonna eat and then we're gonna explore the places. So, let me enjoy my final breakfast. Okay, guys, so I finished my food. And let me just say I'm full. I'm very very full. And uh, yeah, as I promised to you guys, now I'm gonna walk this way to the viewpoint. It's gonna take like uh, maybe 20 minutes because uh, yeah, because it's like a kilometer. So and uh, once I reach the viewpoint, I'm trying to use like a taxi or something to uh, get to the waterfall. Also nice statue here, reminds me a bit of uh, Nietzsche, but uh, anyways, we're gonna continue now, and uh, we only, I, the food took a bit long, so we only have like two and a half hours, three hours left, before it gets dark, so, uh, and it's my only day here, so, uh, we gotta hurry up a bit, but uh, we will make it, I'm sure. Like, uh, that's also the reason I can't visit the Living Root Bridge, because people told me it's like a four hour hike to the Living Root Bridge and uh, I will just visit it someday when I come back here, because uh, this is not the last time I'm in, I'm in Northeast India, so. Also again, it's so crazy. It's like a ghost town. Not because there are no people, but because of the because of the clouds. Like we are inside the clouds. You can try to look as far as you want, but uh, it's just all clouds here. Like a very weird feeling. I've never seen this before. Even in the mountains in Nepal, we had no clouds like this. Guys, we have a perfect timing reaching the viewpoint because the clouds just disappeared a bit. As you can see, you can now look uh, and actually see mountains in the background. It's quite crazy with the clouds here. Like uh, you feel like you're on an airplane because the clouds are just 
flowing through you, you can touch them. What a place to live. Also some stone statue buildings here. But uh, also you can see here on the ground like uh, it's raining a lot here. And I assume, oh it's uh, slippery. I assume this is the way to the viewpoint. Let's go. Feels like I'm back in Nepal without the stairs. We reached the top of the viewpoint. And maybe you can see it, I don't know if the camera can take it. But it's just insane. The clouds are flying through me. Maybe you can see it here. The white dust everywhere. It's just clouds getting blown through me. Never seen this before. But I'm in the clouds. And it's a it's a bit windy here, but I I think you should hear me fine. So this is the viewpoint. I assume if I would have grown up here. Oh let, let, let me make a little wind protection. If I would have grown up here, I would have gotten wasted here with my friends all the time. Because it's an awesome view. But it, there's even a way higher here. But it looks a bit steep and dangerous. But since when does steep and dangerous stop us? There is no sign saying, uh, do not go here. Wow. Windy, but awesome. Also, now you can see all those clouds and all this rain. Like, uh, I understand that this is the most rainy place on earth. And I'm sorry if the audio is a bit bad because of the wind. And I'm also standing very deep in water. But it's fine. Let me give you like a 360 degree view. Oh man, look at this wind. I'm just flying away. So uh, I'm gonna hold my camera up now. You can uh, close your ears, it's gonna be loud. And I'm just gonna show this area. Okay, so quite windy here. So we have two and a half hours left to visit the Seven Sister Falls. Before we reach the Seven Sister Falls, let me tell you a little story. Uh, I told you in the beginning about my friend Iban, and uh, I've just sent him a picture. Let me show you like this. And I asked him, do you know this place? And he was like, oh yeah, sure, that's my hometown, near the gas station. So, uh, shout out to Ivan for recommending me your hometown. And uh, it's a bit windy here, maybe I shouldn't do a story time here, but uh, it, it will be fine. So, uh, second thing before we go to the Seven Sister Falls, for all my viewers that are not from India or Northeast India, those states here I am at right now, they are called the Seven Sisters. Like uh, if you would just open a map on a, like Google Maps and look onto India and search for uh, Meghalaya or Cherrapunji, you wouldn't find it. Because what uh, most, most Westerners don't know, me including, I, I didn't know it too. There's an area behind Bangladesh, Nepal and Bhutan connected to India. And it's called Northeast India and it's seven states, so it's the seven sisters. Uh, some people even told me it's a seven sister and one brother. And also the Ladakh. So, uh, or I mean uh, Sikkim. But uh, there you see the big soccer ball I showed you. And uh, 
yeah, I would recommend Northeast India to anyone. It's like super green, super refreshing. Here it's a bit rainy, but it's fine. So, uh, was there anything I forgot to tell you? I'm not sure. If it gets back to my mind, I'm gonna tell you. If not, then uh, I'm gonna see you at the Seven Sister Fort. Let's go, guys. Also here, 10,000 kilometers from home, we have a tiny, tiny bit of Germany. Kinder Joy, which means just like a children's happiness, children's joy. But uh, yeah, anyways, as I said, let's go. So guys, as you can see, the time frame you can go out and uh, explore. It's always very short, like the rain is uh, going crazy again. I'm hiding under a little shop here. And uh, as I said, two hours left. I'm getting quite wet, but uh, we're gonna try to find the taxi back there and then get to the Seven Sister Falls, hopefully, not too wet. Also, my camera is not waterproof, so I can only film when I'm in the when it's not raining as much. So, what a day! What a hustle! But, uh, I did my best to make a vlog, and I'm sure there will be a vlog of this. Yeah. Thanks for watching, anyways. Also, look at the street here. Like it's completely underwater. And people are used to rain. Everybody has their uh, umbrella. I'm the only like stupid tourist. But uh, at least my shoes lose their uh, holy colors for a bit. But yeah, I hope it ends in a few minutes. But uh, I'm not sure about it. You will find out soon. Oh yes guys. I just remembered what I wanted to tell you on the viewpoint. If you go into this direction, for like 20 or 30 kilometers, you're actually in uh, Bangladesh. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's why I said I'm in the middle of nowhere. So, also just a very small town here. I think that's the only gas station. And, uh, I'm gonna try to go to the main junction here and uh, ask for a taxi to the Seven Sister Falls. And I hope actually I can make it there and not make false promises like I did in uh, Nepal with the hot spring. Because uh, I haven't asked anyone yet if it's possible, but it's raining a lot, so uh, there should be quite some water falls. And again, as you can see, clouds are just insane. Let me show from this side. Like, uh, you can't watch much further than like five meters. Everything behind it is just clouds. Also look at this. This is the main road. Like I've never been to such a Cloudy place. You don't see much. I think here we have the taxis I have to use to get home tomorrow. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna use one of those for uh, for the water forts. It's a bit too expensive. Let me ask here. Maybe I can find a place. Okay, so this was probably the most dangerous car ride I've ever had in my life. Like you can see nothing. Like just nothing. Just look there. There's absolutely nothing. And I hope I didn't just waste money because uh, 
I'm at the viewpoint now. And uh, this is the view. You can hear a waterfall somewhere. But, uh, yeah, you can hear it, but I don't see anything. Also, I expected to be able to like go down somewhere or close to a waterfall, but uh, this just seems like a viewpoint. Well, for us today, it's a listening point. So, uh, as I said, seems like I gave you a false promises again, promising you to show you some waterfalls. Instead, I'm now in the middle of some fog and I have no clue how to get back home. Yeah, that's the, that's the viewpoint. So, uh, quite a funny way to end the video because uh, I gotta find out how to get home now because this is where my hotel is somewhere. And the street and just everything. And uh, it's just clouds. Just clouds and clouds and clouds. And uh, as I said, the car ride it was crazy. Like you couldn't see anything. Like the rider was just honking from time to time. So that other cars notice him. But this is the road. And this is where I have to go home. So, uh, my best guess now is to uh, either stand on the side of the road and wait for a taxi that can pick me up, or just walk through the absolute madness for an hour. And I have to say, I would actually prefer the second option because. Uh, I like crazy adventures, but uh, I also don't want to die on the side of the road. Thank you, please visit again. This is the perfect time to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, even though I gave you false promises of some beautiful waterfalls. Instead, all I was able to offer you is a uh, clouds, endless clouds, but uh, yeah, by now you should be watching my, uh, I think right now my holy vlog is my latest vlog, so uh, there's a lot to come for you, like six or seven more videos until you reach here, so yeah, anyway, so I'm, I'm always talking too much. Okay guys, uh, future Domi here. I just already finished the video, but then I realized the driver brought me to a completely different place. Like the waterfall is like 15 kilometers from here. So uh, I didn't expect this, so uh, leave a big thanks to the driver in my comments so uh, we won't see the waterfall. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, this is where we wanted to go, Eco Park, to the waterfalls. Seven Sister Falls, and that's where we are. So uh, he brought us to a wrong place. So, but from here to the Eco Park now, it's quite a long journey. I, I can't do this now, and it's getting late. So, uh, yeah. Sorry for uh, not being able to show you the waterfalls. And uh, back to Pass Domi. So uh, I've been walking home for like. 30 minutes now, it's getting dark. And now we reached the uh, Eco Park with the waterfall. But uh, I feel like I'm in a horror movie. It's so dark here, I'm, and I'm just walking along the street. As I said, it's like in a horror movie. 
But uh, yeah, uh, the video is already over, so uh, back to uh, past Domi. Thanks for watching all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next video.